Hi folks, I'm here with Tyler Shandro, our fantastic conservative candidate in Calgary, Acadia. Congratulations, uh, Tyler. That's an area I represented in the federal parliament and it's a great community. It is, yeah, yeah. thank you so much. I'm happy to be representing the, that community. So Tyler, uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I uh, grew up in Calgary, uh, grew up in Bonavista. Vista, went to Beaverbrook for high school, which is actually in the riding. Yeah. Um, have two boys, eight and 10 years old. They're the reasons why I want to put my name on the ballot. So what do you do work-wise? I'm a lawyer by trade. I've uh, been a business person as well. Um, also been a member of the National Parole Board um, and just retired from the Calgary Police Commission in June. Wow, a lot of, we packed a lot of service into a young age. <laughs> and you once showed me your, your uh, taxi driver's permit. <laughs> yeah, I drove a cab actually for, uh, for uh, Mayfair Cab, which is actually also in the, uh, the constituency. <laughs> You've got it all lined up. Um, and I think you're partly of Ukrainian background, right? I am, yeah. I actually wouldn't uh, be the first Chandra with their name on a ballot. Uh, one of my uh, great uncles was the, the first Ukrainian to be an MLA in Alberta. Amazing. And, Andrew Chandra, yeah. When was that? That was 1921. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that makes you even more of an Albertan there, so, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> the Ukrainian background. So Tyler, um, you said your, your, your boys are kind of what drives you to, to do this. Tell us more about that. What, I mean, I'm, I'm going to guess you're going to be taking a pay cut to become an MLA and you're spending time away from family out there when it's 20 below, knocking on doors in the middle of winter. What impels you to do that? Well, my wife, Andrea, and I, we just realized that our two boys, who are eight and 10 right now, don't, they're never gonna have the same opportunities that we had when Andrea and I were growing up in Calgary. And so we, we talked about trying to be part of the solution. And we, as a family, decided we wanna be a part of the team that you were building across the province. Uh, I gotta give you uh, Tyler credit. He was one of the guys who was very instrumental in the whole unity of this new party. He was actually, one of my main representatives in negotiating our, our agreement. So the fact that we're at this stage is thanks in part to you, uh, Tyler. One last question, what are you hearing out there? I know you've knocked on thousands of doors in Calgary, Acadia. What are people saying to you? I, I mean, mostly people are worried about where the next paycheck is gonna come from. Or if they're retired, they're worried about where, you know, if they have adult children, where their adult children's next paychecks are gonna come from. People are just worried about jobs, they're worried about the economy. A um, lot of small business owners who are worried about um, you know, all the, the money they've invested, their family money they've invested in a business that they're not able to bring back to the family. And uh, they're looking for that, uh, you know, a turnaround so they can start investing in their, their company again, start hiring their neighbors again, and uh, start being able to bring some money back home to the families. Yeah. Well, uh, I know you're going to be a strong voice for those folks with those economic concerns. And uh, I know you're doing everything you can. I wish you luck as we get closer to the election and hope you'll be part of that team as we uh, work hard to renew the Alberta Advantage. Thank you. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks.